Reminded patrons this afternoon, no smoking within the ground. Please use rubbish figures provided around the ground to dispose of your rubbish. No spectators to go onto the pitch during warm-ups or presentations. And spectators are to abide by Football Australia's code of conduct.
Everyone was packed in that hut over there, standing on chairs. Yeah. Joshua Dingen. 
For the Buckley Miners, Jeff Gore Strikers, number one, Keegan Smith. Number three, Don Smith. Number four, Toby Barton. Number six, Fahim Maradi. Number seven, Brody Dennehy. Number eight, the captain, Kieran Mulraney. Number nine, Roberto Fernandez Dorito. Number ten, Nicola Nell Atkinson. Number 12, Charles Bidwell. Number 22, Taylor Last. Number, and number 24, Luke Bennett. The substitutes are number 11, Ali Dollar. Number 14, Miles Barnard. Number 15, Mitch Corley. Number 18, Max Rossi. And number 23, Eli Wilson. The coach is Tom Valentine. There is his assistants, Nick Owen and Chris McKenna. Our referee is Brenton Coppera. His assistants, Thomas Mace and Nathan Hill. The fourth official is Stratos Plomarinas. Good afternoon and welcome to Valley Road for the MPL Men's Final Series. Final between Devonport City Strikers and South Hobart FC. These two sides home to the biggest rivalry in Tasmanian football, particularly the last 10 years, constantly coming up against each other in big games. Like a Celtic Cup final earlier in the year, first and second in the MPL throughout the regular season. And now they meet here tonight in the final game of top flight senior football here in Tasmania for the year. My name is Paul Hunt. It's a pleasure to bring you the action from a sunny, beautiful Valley Road. Wind slightly picking up a bit thanks to the Bass Strait Sea Breeze. But perfect conditions for football. Valley Road, particularly for end of September standards, in pretty good nick. These two sides played a, a game here a few years back in an absolute mud bath. I cannot say the same about today. Long shadows coming across from the Don end. Otherwise, lovely day for football. Gordon Rimmer stand nearly full. The area in front of the club room is nearly full. We are nearly ready for action here today. The photographs being taken on the field. Many of you would have heard the preeminent MC of the Northwest Coast, Brad Cole, reading out. The team list for you, but for those who missed it, I'll quickly go through Devonport's lineup in goal number one, Keegan Smith, number three, Dom Smith, Toby Barton, Fahim Maradi, Brody Dennehy, Kieran Mulraney, Roberto Fernandez Galido, Nicolau Atkinson, Charles Bidwell, Taylor Last, and Luke Bennett rounding out the strikers lineup. And as quickly as I can possibly manage South Hobart's team, O'Connell, Semler, Lancaster, Berezanski, Lakaseljic, Morton, Castaneda, Riley Morton. Toby Havine and Jackson Dent, Jaden Fidra, and we are off. And one charged down immediately by Fernandez Garrido. Golden boot winner of the MPL Taz so far this season. Bennett getting stuck in. Plenty of shirt pulling with Lacker. Copra allows play to continue. I reckon this is going to be a pretty physical and a pretty spicy matchup here this afternoon. Tom Ballantyne beginning the week. Some slightly spicy comments to Brent Costello about what South Hobart need to do to beat his side. South did beat Devonport in the league throughout the year. Devonport getting bragging rights in the Lacka Celtic Cup final, which saw them make the Australia Cup as Jaden Fidra. Saying a bit of a g'day, how you doing, to Nicola now Atkinson. Who, if you've never met Nick LA, interstate followers, one of the uh, chirpier, nuggety players in the league is that little push after the ball. Exemplifies, but if... He's the kind of player you want on your team, Nick L.A. As Garrido skips past three. And eventually fouled by Castaneda. Player led to take him quickly as Barton. Is the Englishman Luke Bennett. As you can see, we're a minute 22 in and there's been about two lots of afters and two lots of mind games already. Love to see it here. Fine and Rainey Bennett leaves that one forward. Strong challenge from Charles Bidwell. And it slices that one straight into the grateful arms of Nick O'Connell. Str 
Long pass eludes the touch of Nick Morton. And Andy's Garrido can't quite make the most of it. Brody Denner here have been a lethal partnership up front this season. Garrido winning the golden boot. Brody Denner here chipping in with numerous crucial goals. Say the last all over the back of Nick Morton. And constant pressure from the strikers. Seeing him turn the ball over, and that one was heel first before the ball from last on that occasion. Great intensity to start this game. Referees for this one. Brenton Copra in the middle. Stratos Plomeridis, who you may have already heard come through. The effects mic, the fourth official. Thomas Mace and Nathan Hill, the ARs. Smattering South Hobart fans making the journey. They're uh, men's under-21s team winning the NPL under-21s title earlier today. 2-1 over Launceston City. And they make it. Double silverware in this one. Rainey thumps that one clear. Harley Morton does well and launches the sweeping pass across Jackson Dent. Bidwell manages to clear. Dennehy goes chasing after this one. All the way back to Nick O'Connell. Strikers who we saw in the Australia Cup recently. Secured the league a couple of weeks ago. And we have been not necessarily resting an entire side, but players with little niggles have been game managed over the last few weeks since that game against Gold Coast Knights. Preparing for this final series. Trying to make it a clean sweep of silverware for the season. Most dominant clubs in NPL football around Australia, the Strikers. As Dom Smith gets clipped and Garrido wanted advantage played there. And uh, South Hobart cheer squad certainly going to be I mean, things to say to Mr. Fernandez Garrido throughout the game, we can imagine. Oh, Rainey. Leaving that one forward. Martin wanting that one to go out of play, and eventually it does, right in front of the benches. High of you, much better spectacle for filming and watching games at Valley Road as Dennehy comes across to keep that one in. Bennett wants the return ball. Dennehy drops the shoulder. He drops too many shoulders and in the end, himself to the ground and the ball's turned over. Barton. Dom Smith, three white shirts around him and Rosansky does well just out of the reach of Morton who clatters into Kieran Mulraney after the ball. And Devonport faithful on that clubhouse side. Staying to get involved in the game. Warmer. Wellington Phoenix keeper, Keegan Smith. Checking on his captain. Rainey getting back to his feet. Egan Smith's break kick eventually falls to Dennehy in a great save from O'Connell. Seemingly coming out of nothing as now Bennett charges into the 18 yard box, goes the low. Shot and O'Connell grabs it at the second attempt, but absolutely nothing. The long free kick. This is the first clear cut opportunity of the game. South 
Move like a cell check, manage to get it forward. It's with a few finals, tends to be a cagey affair. Those who watched the Lacker Selja Cup final on Saturday between these two sides. And remember that 1 0 win to the Strikers. And a few of them down the years in Lacker Cup finals with South. Obviously, that's probably the best comparison for this tournament in terms of a final setting and the type of match we might be in for. <coughs> Didn't have a League Cup down here in Tasmania up to 2017. Dent crosses this one in, comfortable for Keegan Smith. Don Smith gets it forward towards Fernandez Garrido. Sweeping ball out to Luke Bennett. Plenty of space for the Englishman to run into. Sizing up. Havine and goes towards the byline, charge down, and it ends up being a throw in. Turned by Bidwell. Morton is possessed, and Nicolay telling him to get up. Very unlike Brenton Copper to give a yellow card in the first 10 minutes, and it is just a talking to. Likes the game to float. That's our referee in the middle of the park today. Bynan. Through towards Berezanski. Dense cross, rolls out harmlessly. Or a goal kick. Ah. Goal kick. Not the best. Turns the ball to south pretty easily. Touch towards Laka Seljek. Fidra manages to keep it in. South Hobart's diminutive winger. Signed from Launceston City. Everyone having a different interpretation of what leave it means. Sees the ball eventually fall to Havinen. Did well. Bennett. Ball stayed in the field of play. Pushing the back from Bennett, nothing given. Nico Connell with the volley, returning that one with interest. Dent. Good through ball towards Fidra. Three blue shirts crowd him out. Dent. Sees his cross blocked and will go out for a corner. South getting some good. Purchase down this right-hand side. Early stages. This final. First corner of the match. From this side of the park. Oh, driving ball towards the near post. Goes all the way out the back. The volley coming in. Good save from Keegan Smith. Might have been going wide, but different poor keeper made short. comes in on this far side. Oh, and it's the Olympic coded in. South Hobart hit the front of the FPL final series with an Olympico. Keegan Smith folding goals. 
South Hobart take a lead. Well, maybe those comments of pre-match have spiced up South Hobart. And then Castaneda from the corner. Well, well, well. This game has taken a dramatic turn early on in the 12th minute. Goal from a corner. We don't see too many of them in the MPL. Bennett you know, tries to get them back on track immediately. I guess I was not expecting a goal from that corner. This one comes in, Garrido. Eventually picked up by O'Connell. Takes a second and lays it out towards Morton. Jackson Dent. Now Fidra. Jinking pass one, jinking pass two. Fidra still going. Tries to go around Mulraney and then goes down out as softly as humanly possible. Morton charging that one down. And we now have a second ball on the field. Mulraney. I should by Dent. Garrido. Nothing given there as the three ball. Jackson Dent kicks it away in frustration. I assume Garrido was for a head injury. Mr. Devonport won a yellow card. Drop ball. We'll see it go back to south. 14 minutes gone. That's tonight his corner. Frankly, gets better with every look. Hobart should probably end up with this ball at about the centre circle, you would think. It'd be a, or where Copper is now. She's we can't have contested drop balls anymore. When we get the game back underway. Morton back. It's Lancaster. Riley Morton heaves it forward. Miner manages to intercept. There's a bit of a gap behind though, and it's good covering defence. By South Hobart. That through ball went through Danny. He had good space to run into behind. Surely that's a high boot from Jackson Dent. Clatters into Toby Barton. Definitely had his eyes on the ball. <laughs> discussion going on about what seemed to me to be one of the more obvious yellow cards I've witnessed. In NPL Tasmania history. I killed a nice bit of the time here in the NPL Tasmania final. the last take the set piece good distance on this and goes towards the back stick Barton Tom Smith there flicked forward Garrido nearly getting there but O'Connell quickly off his line now Morton Bennett Oh, 
Now Dom Smith. High ball. Now Fidra. Strong challenge from Mulraney. Bennett again. Dennehy making the other run down the wing. Garrido with the turn. Morton getting a crucial toe in. High ball towards Dennehy. Two waiting in the box. Tries to go towards Garrido. Bennett would have been the better option short. Nicky Lay at the back stick as well. Now Atkinson and Bidwell, Devonport trying to keep possession. A bit more, trying to stretch South Hobart. Dean supplying good pressure. Right on towards Fidra. South Hobart ball. Right in front of the Devonport bench. You don't necessarily agree with that decision. South Hobart. I'm not sure they're deliberately trying to slow down the game or wait for an option. Rainey heaving that one into touch won't help the situation. Forward by Castaneda. And a much deeper roll. At South Hobart that we'd seen previously in this time at the Norky Knights, his former club. Dennehy pirouetting around each other as Castaneda exchanges one twos. Now Bennett. Morton coming across and wins the ball. And the last up against Laka Selchik. Dent coming in, but Laka a little too aggressive. Free kick taken quickly and a bit too quickly for Dennehy. 20 minutes gone. South Hobart 1 0 to the good. Morton forward towards Fidra. Marati looking for options. Finds Bidwell. Up against Lucky Semler. Semler comes out the winner. Rowing towards Ica Seljek. South Hobart adapting the style of play a little bit this year. For so many years, had a Real number nine striker down the years, the likes of Hamlet, Tefeki Marins, Lezinski in times, but they've got a real mobile front three this year. Idra Dent, Berezanski into all interchanging positions. You'll see them pop up on all sides of the pitch. And Devonport very much have Hernandez Garrido and Dennehy up top. The primary strikers. Dent still going with it. Jackson Dent through a sea of bodies, and Keegan Smith did well to come across. And his angle's covered. He's wary of a deflection there as a goalkeeper. Expecting the ball to go to that far corner. Sometimes it doesn't. 
Now there's a bit more space on this camera side. South move across and Barton goes through the middle towards Garrido. Tom Smith now coming up on this searching ball looking for Dennehy. And now Atkinson. Righty, Dennehy as well up there. Taylor Lars, Bidwell in the centre if he wants him. Keeps it out wide. Just be kept in by Lenau Atkinson and Garrido nearly there. Forced out. Forced to concede a corner kick is Jacob Lancaster. Lancaster playing most of last year as a defensive mid. He's pretty much played this year exclusively as a centre back. Great job. Back there. Potentially not quite his natural position. Low cross comes in. Dennehy flicks it on. Air swing from Garrido. Benetton headed clear from south. That one's kept in. Last turning. to find Lenau Atkinson. Garrido trying to find a pocket of space. Garrido there. Garrido with the header and cleared from Lancaster. Bidwell. Last again. Devonport keeping the pressure on us. Atkinson, bit too much power. And that slide rule pass. Leaves the pressure a bit on south. But Devonport getting to come into this game a bit more. throw in. Long throw. Barton, Bennett. Good layoff from Garrido. Now Dennehy. Against Lancaster. Only a defensive help inside. Garrido. Maradi. Crucial touch from Semla. One's out for a throw in. Oh, corner kick, sorry. Corner comes in at the near post and Dom Smith there. Rising highest initially. Garrido. Garrido dropping the shoulder. And wins another corner for his side. towards the near post and his flick on the primary aim from these corners so far that one goes a bit further cleared by Riley Morton As Nick Morton goes down on the ground and kind of the plank position Get my eye line was following the ball so I'm not quite sure what happened there On the field of play, 26 minutes gone. South Hobart, a goal to the good. Still down on the deck. South's captain, Nick Morton. South Hobart, of course, the last winners of a end of season competition here in Tasmania. 
finals of the 2017 season League Cup. We have to ask the historians if that means they're reigning champions or not. victory this year making it five out of the last six years six of the last eight that they've won the title and juggernaut up here on the northwest coast the south will continue for with 10 for the time being as Nick Morton goes off the field Taken short. Well controlled and well cleared from South. Getting it out of that corner. Toby Barton. Dent leaves that one forward. Vine and Dent swapping places momentarily as South right back. It's up it's their most attacking threat for temporarily. Sizing up his options from all the throw-ins is Vine. Back heel. Dent about getting the ball back, but so he goes to Castaneda. A very Drea Perlo in his late years escarole here today. Lado Castaneda. Deep lying playmaker number six is. I talk him up. The air balls one. Dennehy. Castaneda getting in a tangle. Bidwell now. Garrido. Gets a bit more on it, so it gets out to Bennett. Luke Bennett gets on that right foot. Hits it and over the top. Luke Bennett. Nick Morton now. Ready to continue. Again, McConnell taking plenty of time from these goal kicks. Goes to halfway and last. Garrido thought about taking it first time. Bobble just in front of now Atkinson and Dennehy. Now to it by O'Connell, who gets the ball rolling again. Alrighty. Quite fine Keegan Smith there. With the back pass. Giving away an unnecessary corner. Devonport forced to set up defensively, when maybe they really weren't prepared to. Jackson Dent goes across to Tate. Oh, sorry, Wado Castaneda. Can he repeat his magic? With earlier, the only goal of the game coming from this exact spot. Doing, thinking the same if I was Garrido, and he goes near post again. This time, Keegan Smith. The second attempt. Perhaps that one. Not opting to rock the cap here in this first half, Keegan Smith. Definitely. The sun in his eyes, and you can see how much the shadows have changed, particularly those of you who joined in to the Women's Super League 
match earlier. Castaneda wins that one well. Fidra to Dent. And towards the byline and Barton comes across and helps out Captain Mulraney. Swinging corner this time, Castaneda. Mid season transfer from the Glenorchy Knights as driving corner comes in. Lancaster, who we were aiming for. Not quite Sheffield United esque from South Hobart, but certainly in a rush to take any set pieces. Seen by not wanting that quick throw in. Bidwell in much more of a hurry. In contrast, as Mulraney picks the ball up. 12 minutes left in this first half. I imagine there'll be a little bit of stoppage time for three or four stoppages we've had. Goals. Head knock or two. And coach is getting a bit more vocal now. Taylor last now. Chip through ball looking for Dennehy. Brody Dennehy goes over the top of O'Connell and over the top of the net as well. Imagine that was offside in any case. That is the call from the AR on the far side. Still not quite used to this new rule of the flag going up at the absolute last possible moment. Estimator's <laughs> pass. Eventually gets to Morton as Marathi just waiting and waiting on it. Don't quite have that time. Amount of time on the ball in a final. Throw into Garrido. Now, well now Atkinson. Didn't quite get the purchase on that crossfield ball. Wells. Attempt to challenge. Coming to much is now Bennett. Plenty of space down this left-hand side. Heavy touch. Can he keep it in? He gets to the byline. Bennett crosses it back. Looking for Dennehy. Garrido. Can't block this one down. Mulraney can. Got all the ball. Don't think the crowd agreed with that. It's Luke Bennett now back towards Bidwell. What about shaping the shoot? Dennehy. Off. Zansky now for a corner. This one again go towards the near post. A more central, O'Connell. Punches. Dennehy and Morton go for it together. Garrido with the volley and again over the top. if there wouldn't have been a foul on the keeper given there potentially given Nick O'Connell's protest following that shot coming in but he was impeded regardless referee electing to keep it easy and we have a goal kick as now Marathi coming forward for the strikers oh. Oh, 
Rolls it out to Castaneda. Tom Smith clears. High ball towards Denny. He flicks it towards Bennett. Takes it on the chest as Luke Bennett thought he was going to shoot. Does so eventually. And all the way back to the strikers defenders. Idra doing the lion's share of work up top for the moment. South Hobart's travelling support vocal in front of where that free kick was given. South Hobart content to pass it around the back for the moment. Not much happening there as O'Connell comes out of his box and clears away. Mulraney. And tennis and shoes in front of Devon Port's technical area. Now into the middle of the park. That's about eight headers in a row. Good well. Foul by Dent. At least that gets the ball back on the deck. Garrido. Bennett, good touch with the left peg to get inside the box, keeps it in the field of play, but no one making that near post run, Denny, he's 14 yards off, Garrido's in line with the penalty spot, needed someone making that darting near post run. Egan Smith after... Seeing that goal hasn't had a great deal to do since then. And you neither is Nick O'Connell. Just eludes Lanau Atkinson and he'll chase after it. Lays it towards Marathi. Up against Morton. Morton gets none of the ball and gets all the player and that will be a free kick for the strikers. 20 minutes gone. Well, oh, now Atkinson again taking as he does all the corners in that area of Valley Road. Last looking to make a late darting run, just getting the attention of Lenau Atkinson. Got plenty of space to run into, or will this go towards the tall timber? It does, and O'Connell, that's a comfortable collect for the keeper. Morton, Castaneda. All down the line. Berezanski, Bidwell with the sliding challenge. He'll go again here, Bidwell. Berezanski gets past him. Cross with the left foot near post. Nearly gets towards Fidra. Mulraney eventually clears. Going towards... Nick Morton, who's high looping cross, eludes everyone. Rolls out for a goal kick. Neither side managing to have what you would call a flowing piece of possession in the last few minutes. Tom Smith tries to start one on that far side. Garrido 
Taking advantage of the mistouch from Riley Morton, but nothing comes of it. Great catch in the grandstand as well. Lifting a nice rouse, round of applause. Mulraney. One last chance to build an attack here, the strikers, as Bidwell goes towards Bennett, who's seems to end up in a lot of space down this left hand side. He gets a touch here, he could have some more as goes forward towards Dennehy. He has come off Lancaster's thigh at the end and for another corner. Clears at the near post. Orton. Plenty of strikers players back at halfway as Bidwell. As that towards Kieran Mulraney, the right winger. An absolutely fantastic player is Kieran Mulraney. Not the greatest cross of his long career. O'Connell eventually telling his uh, teammates to push up. Martin with the uncontested head up. South wanting the second ball. Lancaster back to O'Connell. Did well. Left that one a little bit short, Taylor Lars. And Mulraney has to give that one a bit more of a heave than he wants to. And the slope of Valley Road comes to the South Hobart defender's aid. Three minutes of stoppage time just from South Hobart's throw-ins here potentially if you're going by certain new rules. That's a lovely turn by Garrido trying to get around Jacob Lancaster. Jacob Lancaster's gone what's called the horse collar tackle in American football there. He's not happy about the decision. It's usually a flag and 15 yards in other sporting codes. Slice of cheese issued by Brenton Copra. Fucking out of order. That is fucking out of order. Hey, 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 hey. Do not talk to old people. You have some respect. You have some respect. Sorry for the language in the in the effects, Mike. If you can hear that, those at home. Really coming through loud and clear from my end in the headphones. Minute of stoppage time played. We saw in the women's Super League game earlier. Georgia King scoring an absolute belter from about this exact spot. Well, there's times when they're even those ref banner ads at the bottom of the screen. A bit of uh, FV's respect campaign banner coming up as numerous Devonport players over this one, and it's straight into the wall initially and straight into the wall again. And two minutes of build up for that free kick. 
absolutely naught coming from it. Garrido, bicycle flick. Easily cleared by Lancaster. Bidra now. Hicks his pocket, Tom Smith. That's exceptionally well. I've been too busy. Okay, another action to see how much stoppage time there is. I imagine we'd be looking at at least four minutes. And that's a great interception from Semler. Did well. Heavy ball nearly controlled by Dennehy. And McConnell now. Shares the orders and kicks that one high into the setting. Devonport's son, Dom Smith. Morton. Like a Seljic getting the ball down and now Atkinson. All over him, but Castaneda. And just to intercept and this time wins the free kick, relieving the situation. Morton caught in a Devonport sandwich and now Atkinson not happy with that decision as we go into the 50th minute of this first half. And really, you see some games that go to 50 minutes and you wonder why. This one, I, it's about the right amount of stoppage time. It could be here for quite some time. I bet if this game goes to extra time or penalties. I think Devonport's got pretty good lights even without the imported ones that they get for the Australia Cup games like they did last year against Wellington Phoenix. Castaneda again over this set piece. That one comfortably into the car park and just before it goes to 5-0, we hit half time. Players run into the shed. South Hobart, 1-0 to the good. Plenty of words being exchanged right in front of the camera position. Anyway, 1-0 to South Hobart. Ido Castaneda with the Olympico set them in front. It's been a tight tussle. It's been an itchy contest. I expect more of the same in this second half. Join us in 15 minutes' time. Just letting to see what goes on here before completely wrapping up. It's a pretty tight run into the uh, sheds here at Valley Road, but that all looks to have simmered down. And we'll reset and come back in 15 minutes. South Hobart, 1-0 to the good over the Devonport Strikers.
Super League to sign a Denver Strikers defeated Clarence Severus of 2 0. And we're back, second half of this your final series match between the Devonport City Strikers and South Hobart. Almost all the coaching staff have made their way across to the far side. A long walk from the change rooms here at Valley Road. And Brenton Copra gets us underway. Doesn't look like any changes from either side at half time. Still seeing plenty of those strong challenges immediately as Tom Smith and Jaden Fidra there. Shows is Sam Lup. Looking for some options and inevitably goes down the line. Bidwell. Heavy touch. Morton. Chips that one forward. Mulraney. Forced to get rid of that one and get a little too close to the top of the Valley Road <laughs> media tower for our liking. Throw in. And now Atkinson. Really getting on the end of that one. Marathi. Long throw right to Semla. Morton. Tom Smith. Leaves that one clear. Oh, the side interested in passing it. Around the back so far to start this second half as Lakaselja gets it through towards Fidra. Advantage played towards Berezanski in the corner. Losses that one in high. Dent. Sea of blue shirts in that area. Can they clear it effectively? Castaneda, the goal scorer. Towards Morton. No one home to claim that pass. Bidwell turns away from Morton well, last. Thinks it back to Mulraney. Bennett. Bennett again. Tries to get the return ball from Dennehy. Not enough sauce on that one. And one of the last remaining sun patches of Valley Road. Mr. and Exchange passes with Lancaster. So the ball was played and Andy Copper calls it back for a free kick. South 1 0 to the good thanks to Eduardo Castaneda's goal direct from the corner. Olympico in a final, if you don't mind. Scrappy start to this first half after five minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first. Again, referee forced to have a chat about some away from the ball. Shenanigans as like Seljic lays it off. Dom Smith has a player charging behind him and figuring a straight through him. Strong appeals for a penalty. Nothing given on that occasion. That was a meaty challenge. I'd love to have another look at that if I can. All oh, the South Hobart, South Hobart players pretty much came to a stop. They thought it was such a stonewall penalty. He's got the ball first, but he's gone absolutely clattering through Jaden Fidra. Well, to talk about at the end of this game. A 1 0. That's been pretty spicy in parts. Get up. 
Morton. All lays it inside towards Lacker Seljak. And that makes it two. Bradley Lacker Seljak gives double South Hobart's lead out of seemingly nothing down in the corner. Nice bit of intricate passing involving Morton. And eventually Lacker Seljak found him in all sorts of space. Had time to shape, shoot, and get it past Keegan Smith. The strikers have got a mountain to climb to get back into this one. Good build-up play after the throw-in. South Hobart managed to stretch Devonport's defence. Seems like everyone kind of overcommitted, and all of a sudden, lack of cell jack. A good portion of the 18 yard box to himself. South. Go to in front. Manage. Flick Devonport's one of Devonport's few defeats for the season. Earlier in the year, looks like they're on course. There's a little bit of an upset here today. Devonport conquering really throughout the season. Bidwell. Carrido ends up on the deck. Advantage played, but nothing coming of it. Smith now. South back on the ball. Searching ball. Looking for Berezanski. South Hobart coming up to Valley Road this weekend with a point to prove. So far after 51 minutes. Proving. And they deserve to be seen as one of the top teams in the state again. And Morton. That one over the top from Dent. Kevin Porter haven't really got out of the sheds this second half so far. South. Dominating this opening seven minutes. Amorati. On the bench. All the strikers this afternoon in an attacking sense. You've got Ali Duller and the fox in the box, Miles Barnard. And depending on the fitness of those two, you would expect Valentine to get there soon as Garrido nearly gets it to Dennehy. Morton, Micah Seljek clears. Fidra. And went up ahead, but Jackson Denner willing run up. In the end, a three step over straight into Barton, but gets possession back. Oh, Rainey striding forward down the left wing. Yeah, Nick L.A. Dead set pushing the back from Nick Morton. There is an Aussie rules final on down the road at Burnie. Probably more akin to a challenge you're likely to see at the Dockers game. I think that's more about why there's not a yellow card, the subsequent protestations. It was uh, Morton right, walking away from the scene of the crime as quickly as possible. He knows he might have slightly got away with one there. B. And now Atkinson over the set piece. Dents it towards the back stick. Mulraney climbing high. And eventually the push in the back has been called. South now begin the process of slowing the game down. Now 
McConnell's kick right to the head of the strikers and the head tennis and shoes before Dent gets it down. Just wouldn't quite sit for Morton. Does well to find a teammate. Goes back behind him. It's Dennehy. Once again, Jacob Lancaster standing strong in the heart of defence for South. A lot more youthful South Hobart defensive line than we're used to seeing throughout the Morton years. Always plenty of youth and vigour in attack. Often they've had solid experience at the back after Lucas Hill and Jack Bowman who's on the bench today and Louis Ludford, etc, etc. This time Lancaster. And Semler. And in some youth as we do see the changes begin to be rung by the strikers. Charles Bidwell coming off. And that was Faye Maradi coming off as well. Eli Wilson coming on. Bidwell magically back on the field. Thought he was also coming off for the double sub there. But it's Wilson. The player to come on. Well, just receiving the instructions from the sideline. Again, another throw in for South that'll gradually see some seconds taken off as long throw. Hit by Mulraney. Nick Bennett had plenty of space to run into in the first half. He hasn't had a great deal of that so far in the second. Oh. Now setting up on the grandstand side. Morton. <laughs> yeah, getting entangled Morton and Bidwell and it was second defence coming across just holding him back and South really got the momentum and the win behind them in this second half. Castaneda with the casual around the world setting up for the free kick, if you don't mind. South on the bench this afternoon. Backup keeper Jake Hayes and attackers Harrison Oates and Daniel Arnaz. And Gus Higgins and Jack Bowman as well. Castaneda over the dead ball. That one comes off. Strikers in the end. Rosansky particularly happy with that decision. Now Bidwell. Chased by Fidra. Bidwell just getting up there in the end. Morton. Tom Smith. Really collects his teammate in Eli Wilson. And that's good defence. Well, sure that came off Garrido. Morton. Marizansky. Last goes in behind. Now Atkinson nearly wins the corner for his side, but well cleared by South. Bidwell back towards Barton. Barton pressured by Dent. Now Bennett. Comes now Atkinson up against Morton. A few Bronx cheers from the Devonport change room. Bidwell ships that forward, but that's to no one in particular. And O'Connell takes an extra two seconds off the clock. Mentioned South. Prime position here for their second trophy of the day. Under 21s winning that competition. 2 1 victory over Lonnie City. 
Having a time here for Toby Barton. Wilson. Horses Morton to clear. I imagine that sub. See Eli Wilson playing a bit further forward than Marathi was. Garrido on the turn. Dops it off to the top of the box and Lanau Atkinson. Well, that's a guilt edge chance. And he knows it. Trying to bend that one into the top corner. The spin going the other way as well. South. Launch that one forward. Keegan Smith comfortably there first. Now Atkinson towards Dennehy. Jinx inside and gets the cross in. Easily cleared, only as far as last. It leaves that one a little bit short. And like a sell check, stud showing on Wilson. And there's a slice of cheese for the goal scorer. Wilson staying down for the moment. With that top leg of Lacoselgic, I think, is what's got him in trouble there. Right leg on the top, right on the ankle of Wilson. Morton came charging in, ended up not protesting too much, and it is Lacoselgic coming off. Goal scorer. And Oh, the biggest award winner of the night the other week, Daniel Arnaz coming on. It's been great for the under-21s for South. Daniel Arnaz, one that Ken Morton has huge wraps on to go far as Lanau Atkinson, the head of Mulraney. Second ball, Dennehy, and he's put that one onto Valley Road itself. Takes the goal kick. Mulraney. Castaneda. Bidwell. Stays down. Mulraney. Going on down on the coach's bench. Just turn the last two's gone down. Sixty three minutes gone. South Hobart, two goals to the good. Side who's with the lead here so far this afternoon at Valley Road. Gone on to win on the first two occasions. South in prime position to do the same. Hopper's going to have to drop ball. And quickly have to get back in position as Dom Smith's going to heave that one forward. All oh, the defensive header back to O'Connell, who confident that Garrido wasn't going to get there at his first touch. And the late challenge on the youngster by Dom Smith sees him go into the book with a slice of cheese. The back of Copper's cheese is 
getting rather full here this afternoon. Morton over this free kick. Rosansky towards Semla. What's that one in the sun? Smith can't quite find Wilson. South Hobart fans have made the trip up. So far they'll be going home very happy with two out of two. And now Atkinson, Dent. Castaneda, sorry, sliding in. It was Dent on the far side who couldn't quite control it. And Bennett finally gets a chance to run. He's left that one a bit too far in front. Devonport. Struggling to make anything happen here in this second half. And ironically, probably need to find another outlet. Another way past South. Mulraney. Back to his keeper. Low drive from Keegan Smith. Manages to find Bennett. Now Wilson. <laughs> up against Arnaz, one of the more obvious shirt grabs I've seen. Arnaz so far, he's had about three touches and one, two fouls. Morton. That's a helping hand from Berezanski. Now Mulraney. Bennett. Hasn't made a great deal happen on that far side. Mulraney's done exceptionally well throughout this game so far. Did well. What time? Thwarted by illegal means and Copper. Gives the free kick to Devonport, allowing the tall timber to stride forward. Pretty much playing with three centre-backs at the moment, the strikers. Mulraney, Smith and Barton. Quite the trio. In the ways of height is last. Scoops that one forward. Centrally, Tom Smith at the back post. Max clear as far as Bidwell. Cleared. As far as Vidra. And Castaneda's gone down and I would have argued both of them had one arm in the air. Nice on the initial look. Castaneda down. We'll go through all the correct protocols potentially should he stay down. The amount of administration and head checks. We could be looking at five plus minutes of stoppage time. As now Ali Dullet comes on. Now Atkinson coming off. Another substitution being made. Well, I did flag that the strikers will have to do something fairly soon. And there comes the attacking threats that they have on the bench. Only Duller for one. And then a man made for late goals. Miles Fox in the box. Barnard coming on. Only Duller also been out this year with injury. But Miles Barnard 
Having a huge amount of time off through injury over the last two years. Warning is summer and winter sporting times. Good to see him back on the pitch. He's did well. Strong in the challenge on Morton. He's gone in. Studs down. Might have got a little bit of the ball as well. I assume that's why the throw-in's been given. Marazanski. Castaneda. Now last. Gets the ball forward towards Dulla. Look at Fidra. And the pace in tracking back. Garrido. Gets the ball in just behind Dennehy though. Bidwell gets it down only as far as Morton. Who comes charging forward, sliding in. And I'm just wondering who's got that free kick. I imagine it's South Hobart. It's always hard when one recklessly puts their legs there and you're running in normally. It usually does mean some studs on the leg and that's, I think, what's happened to Nick Morton. Been in the wars so far this afternoon. South Hobart's captain. We've just had more stoppage time. And definitely, I think five minutes is going to be a gross under here, the amount of stoppage time to be added. We've seen... Leagues around the world recently where a lot of stoppage time is added on. Results can change. Morton getting back to his feet shortly. 72 minutes played. Looks like there'll be another sub to come. We saw South Hobart's players warming up in that far left-hand corner earlier. Jackson Dentu slowly making his way off the field. Morton back to his feet as well. Coming on is Harry Oates. Play on the wing. Last bit of sun. Coming into view. Did well. As far as Morton again caught in a striker's sandwich. This time the ball gets away and Fidra looks for Oates. Back towards Fidra. Slide rule ball nearly. Goes into the path of South player before Keegan Smith clears. Now Morton. Fidra drop. Back towards Oates. Keeping possession well here of South. Now Castaneda. Towards Semler. This touch, but nothing coming of it. Tom Smith. Wins the ball. Garrido. And the first foul called by Brenton Copra. 16 minutes left. Strikers need to find something. Haven't created much in this second half. Two fouls in 20 seconds. Might see the momentum start to swing. Really south. Been on top. Certainly since half time. Come on, 
The goal would certainly bring this match to life. Last ball in. Top of the box. Dennehy thought about going for it first time. Wilson stuck ahead in there. Bidwell. Looking for some width. Didn't really have anyone. Headed forward. Poor players. Kind of getting in the way as O'Reilly and Morton begin their arms locking as Morton comes barging in. Wilson. Eventually. So have to get the ball in some space as someone's decided to bring the air horn out. Curious if the referees are keeping check on this amount of time. Again, I'm a little bit too close to the camera tower for our liking. Ball comes forward and just prevented a corner and that's well out of the way as both Bidwell and Castaneda go sliding in. Mulraney. Good pressure from the youngster. Tom Smith, now Bidwell. Again, seen fouls for that given so far today. Dennehy with a touch, now Wilson. Has Barnard waiting in the six-yard box, and that's well charged down from Riley Morton. Clearance straight out of play. Davenport at least starting to create some territorial dominance here as the game goes on. That one towards Barnard, who goes flying in. And offside anyway. It's one of the acrobatic attempt from the Fox in the box. Really Dennehy, Barnard and Garrido. To have those three up front as it currently stands. No goals so far for the strikers. Wouldn't be many times that's occurred down the years. Strong header from Barton. South Hobart's throw. Again. Taking the time with the throw. Garrido. Looking for Barnard. Duller as well. Strikers. Don't look terribly crisp with their passing days. That is a definite like challenge on Kieran Mulray. <laughs> Both players down. Looks like another slice of cheese coming out. And Copper getting the paperwork done nice and early. Four of these in the last 15 minutes. I don't know, there was 100 and we get to 102 minutes in the uh, Tottenham Hotspur game in the Premier League on the weekend. We could be about to beat that with the amount of stoppage time here. <laughs> South Herbert received their slice of cheese. Wayne and off the field for the moment. Last 10 minutes. The top flight men's season. Not quite the last game in the state for the year. Northern Championship Finals on tomorrow. Over at Montello in Burnie. <laughs> it's just clattering in to Lancaster. 
in. High ball under the setting sun. Barnard drawn down from behind from a shirt pull. Wants a free kick and gets it on this occasion. Lancaster aggrieved again. Morton. Riley Variety also not happy with that decision. South can at least take some time off the clock by making sure Devonport can't take this quickly. Quite the grandstand finish if Dennehy can find the back of the net. Two, three, seven strikers players in the box, plus Taylor last on your screen. At home, they don't really have too many. Behind the ball, everyone back for South just about. Just the one further forward for them. O'Connell checking, checking his angles. It's Brody Dennehy with the free kick. What a save from O'Connell. And once again, he comes up strong in this match, keeping South Hobart a clean sheet and two goals to the good. Diving across to his right-hand side. I'm just trying to check whether he got a second save on that as well. It's a fantastic save from South Hobart's keeper. Could be match ceiling effort from the goalkeeper. Barnard. Can go quite where he wanted to. He might get a second opportunity here. Garrido, that's surely a high foot if we're consistent. And it is. Eli Wilson picking the ball up and returning it. Again. Eight minutes and change left. South two to the good. Castaneda and Lacaseljek the scorers. Strikers. Haven't really created a great deal, certainly compared to what we're used to seeing across the course of this 2023 season. Nine minutes and the likes of Garrido, Dennehy, Barnard, Duller on the pitch. And with the amount of stoppage time that we're likely to have, it's not completely home and dry for South. O'Connell, particularly with that last save, doesn't look like being beaten tonight. He's just about tonight. Barnard. Morton. Out of the field of play. Barton. Now Fidra. Pace to burn. This does our nays. The use of South Hobart's forward line coming into effect here. That time just enough by Dennehy. And this will see more time tick off the clock. You can see glimpses of Daniel Arnais. Hasn't played a great deal of MPL football this year, but once we have a potentially even pacier version of Casper Hallam. He came through South's system via Southeast, who we've seen do fantastic things in the MPL Victoria this year. Castaneda under the head of Barton, but he can only concede a corner. That's one of those strikers fans. I'd be getting that ball pretty quickly over to the corner flag. Time is ticking away. Castaneda goes over to take. What a great deal of options for him to aim for for this outswinging corner. Just the four up, plus one at the top of the box for South. Low to Morton, who flicks it on, but just flicks it out of play. 
Oh, Ian Smith too hard on his throw out there. Smith moves it forward. Davenport get possession back. Dom Smith looking long again. Wilson up against Semla. It's the byline. Does he run out of space? He wins a corner. South's substitutions they've made. He hasn't added any height to their side, whereas Devonport with Barnard. It's Taylor last looping ball and comfortable for O'Connell. Didn't have enough pace on it on that occasion. Oh, everyone's missed that one. It's Daniel Arnaz is just ghosted in behind play. Gets past Mulraney. Lays the ball off. Fedra, what a block from Kieran Mulraney. Fantastic block. And somehow Daniel Arnaz just ended up in all sorts of space. And this time, Charles Bidwell not happy with that decision. It's going to take something, something monumental. For the strikers to get back on this one. Castaneda. Over this one. Straight to the head of Dom Smith. <laughs> Whacked into Denny from... Half a yard out. Not much you could do about that one in the way of hands. As Berezanski out towards. And it wants him to take him on. Morton. Back to Semla. South cheer squad urging their team home. Morton. Wilson gets there on that occasion. It's turning into almost a rugby mall down in front of the coaches' benches. Eventually South end up with it. It's getting scrappy since about the 80th minute mark. I think that O'Connell save just helps South mentally. Make them realise this is theirs. Since that moment, strikers haven't really threatened. It's gotten bogged down. Just a bit of head tennis. A bit of heave ho. Unless they can create something from here. Barnard's layoff. Out towards Ali Dulla. Space to run into. Garrido up ahead. Barnard coming back. Dulla getting there. Nothing happening on this occasion. Oates. It's it forward to Fidra. Who else is going to leave that one? Toby, who I need to take, no doubt. Hasn't been terribly quick with his throw ins all game, and I certainly don't expect that to change in the 89th minute. Eli in the middle. Long throw. Hit by Mulraney. Look at Rito. Last. Mulraney getting forward. Barnard. Pass cleared and South get the ball back as Tom Smith can lay it off to Bidwell. Going the wrong way at the moment, the strikers. We tick into the 90th minute. Nothing really happening for the strikers. Here comes Dennehy with some space. Ball flicked on toward Garrido. Lays it back towards Dulla. 
Yeah, fairly tame effort from the substitute. O'Connell, once again, no rush to get the ball out of his hands. <laughs> Last game of the season. Might as well take a slice of cheese at this stage. Eagerly awaiting how much stoppage time there is. And I think that's a south throw in. No. Dull up. Forward. Here comes Barnard. Looking for Mulraney, who's now the auxiliary forward. Eli Wilson now playing as centre-back. Mulraney is adding more tall timber. Eight minutes. And Brad Cole, frankly, I thought it was going to be ten, so that's actually a little bit less than I was expecting. <laughs> Barton. And for a long season, another eight minutes to go. Tom Smith. Just struggling to get these passes together as Mulraney. Just that pass from about there getting to the 18-yard box, the strikers. Haven't really had. What can Bidwell do? Mulraney, Garrido, bubbles around. Garrido O'Connell gets there. And Mulraney was actually stopped there and dove over him, which has looked a bit awkward, but was about the best circumstance that could have happened there. O'Connell. Thompson's head up. Fidra running for the corner flag. Now not running for the corner flag as he goes inside. Plays a lovely reverse ball to Oates. Keegan Smith gets there in the legs. And it's offside. As Keegan Smith wants to take this quickly. And take it quickly, but he's just going to strike to Nick Morton. Again, at the end of a long season. Game getting really stretched. Strikers keeping essentially five strikers at all times. Dullup. It's from about here upwards. The I mean, that's he's taken ten yards from that throw in. And Morton knew that was coming anyway. Wilson. Six minutes left. Dennehy. Uh, Bidwell leaves it behind, and that's come off the heel of Bidwell. Bidra looks for looks for Oates up against Barton. A little composure needed here, and he just goes to the corner flag, and he tries to go around Barton. I mean, he's half his size. As <laughs> Dulla tries to get around him, and then. It's brought back for the foul as he was all over him. Egan Smith to take. Barnard. Estenada. Estenada gets up very angrily at what was most harmless. Not the uh, strongest challenge of the day by any stretch of the imagination. South will take this free kick in their own leisure. Preferably you'd probably have someone who isn't on a yellow card taken in case they take a bit too long. Probably do something better with it than that. A long season, Devonport, like a Seljuk Cup champions, league champions. As it stands, South Hobart adding some silverware at the very end of uh, this finals series. Bidwell goes the slide rule bowl. He sends south here with the pace they've got up front. Potential to get another on the counter. Last ball lobbed forward. McConnell, good starting position. Garrido. His head to his hands to his head. Knows it's been a frustrating evening. Particularly going anywhere on that occasion. Since 
Champagne bottles are being popped down at Darcy Street. Tom Smith, I think, just having a shot there. Uh, that sums up the frustration levels of the strikers. So here goes Taylor Last. Again, straight through to the goalkeeper. It's been that kind of evening, and you can see on the faces of the Devonport faithful in the background. Just not had it together in an attacking sense so far. An Olympico and a letting the midfielder in run free and then Tom Smith heads it right into the South Hobart fans. Development players. And other fans stuck around all day. It's been a long day but a rewarding day for South Hobart. So here comes Fidra. Now, just need someone with a bit of experience to take it to the corner. Oates will do that on the far side. Now Morton. Two minutes left for the in this game. Lancaster just about breaks a window of the Devonport clubhouse. Greedo going to use his well-known long throwing expertise. I mean that was a foul throw for a start. Oh, foul well throw in the. 96th minute of your entire year. And that's when you know it's not been your day. I think we could see that from the other side of the ground is uh, pretty telling. Morton up against Bidwell. Duller. Castanetis, look, a reborn player this afternoon compared to the start of the season is and he's, he's terrorised MPL under 21's defenders so far this year and quite come across the brick wall of the strikers as much in his short career but promising career I think that's a goal kick and it is and that will be just about the ball game and one minute left Goal kick eventually taken. Tom Smith. Denny, he just keeps that one in. Dennis. That one clears the first player. Morton. Austin hasn't quite been the season overall for South Hobart. I'll take great confidence from this victory here this afternoon. His last is crowded out by three South Hobart players. Oh, that one's Keegan Smith. Oh, geez, that'll be booted as far as you can. Garrido with the flick. Duller coming across. Morton gets there first. Kicks it into Valley Road two. Hopefully this time the throwing's a little better from Devonport. At least it's a legal one. Morton, Dulla, Garrido, good header from Castaneda. And that is the final whistle. South Hobart come up to Valley Road and become the 2023 MPL Final Series winners. Great defensive performance from South. Mardo Castaneda with the first, Radley really like Seljek with the second. They really thwarted. All the attempts at the end from the Devonport strikers. Nico Connell's crucial save in the 81st minute for mine was not necessarily the turning point, but real the sealer on this match. From there on, South looked home and hosed. A great win for South Hobart, adding some silverware to their year. Rare to have a year in the last two decades without some. That means South Hobart winners 2-0. Once again, we'll leave you with the presentations at the end. It was a pretty tasty matchup. In the end, South are uh, victors. And it says yellow cards too. I reckon it was about seven slices of cheese here. And that's what we like to finish off a season here at Slice of Cheese. Lots of them dished out by Brenton Copra. My name is Paul Hunt. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. South Hobart, your 2023 Impeel Final Series winners.
Yep. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge and pay respect to the elders that were here today, acknowledge those who have passed before us, acknowledge Tasmanian Aboriginal people who are attending this event today. I'd like to officially welcome you to the presentation of the 2023 McDonald's MPL Tasmania Men's Grand Final. Thank you for everyone today, throughout all the clubs, for attending here at Valley Road. It's been a great day of football and uh, some very worthy winners. First up, I'd like to call forward uh, Denbot Strikers President Drew Smith, just to uh, say a few words in regards to today's proceedings here at Valley Road. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Ed Brad. Wasn't quite ready, but um, look, uh, congratulations to South Hobart. Uh, played very well today. Commiserations to our guys. It's been a fantastic season. So uh, it's been uh, can't win every game, although I like to win every game. So I'll pretty pretty unbearable for a week or so. But uh, oh no, battery? Huh? Has it gone flat? Hold on, Drew. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, technical issue. Um, I guess a bit of a nostalgia today. It will be the last time we'll be here playing from the Gordon River stand. So. That'll be coming down over the next week or two to be replaced with a new Gordon River stand. So, uh, a bit of nostalgia for today. But thanks everyone for attending today. It's been a fantastic day of football. Um, and congratulations once again to, to Ken and his team on a, on a great victory today. Thank you. Right now, I'd like to call forward uh, Football Tasmania General Manager of Football Operations, Greg Calvert. So, cheers, Brad. I won't keep you long. Just as we wrap up, before we get to the formal presentation, just want to acknowledge today, Devonport Strikers, um, Drew, Rod Andrews, your wonderful volunteers for hosting the game today. It's valued. It's appreciated. I know how much time you give to your club as do all the volunteers, and I think we should acknowledge their efforts today. So, thank you, Devonport Strikers. With that said, I'll hand that over to you. Cheers, Brad. Thanks, Greg. First up, we'd like to acknowledge today's referees, Ref Senior Referee Brenton Popper, his assistants Thomas Mace, Nathan Hill, and the fourth official, Stratos Guamaritas. Well done today, gents. Now I'd like to call for Denmark Captain Kieran Mulraney to uh, say a few words on behalf of his team. Thanks, Brad. Uh, yeah, congrats, South Hobart. Too good for us today. Um, we played well. Unfortunately, we, we couldn't finish the year how we wanted to. Uh, nonetheless, we've had a pretty good year. Um, I'd like to thank our fans and South for coming up a long way. Um, also, our volunteers. Couldn't do that, you guys. Um, and also FD for letting us host this. I think it's the first time in modern MPL and not sure prior to that. Um, so yeah, we appreciate, it, appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, more on South and we'll see you next year. Now I'd like to call forward South Hobart captain Nick Morton to uh, say a few words on behalf of the winning team. Um, yeah, look, thank you to Devonport. Um, as usual, always a tough battle and it's a, a battle that's been a big thing over the last couple of years. Credit to you guys, you've had another great year. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you again next season. Uh, thank you to the referees, superb. And to our boys, um, I think, I don't know what to say really because it's been one of those years where we've been there and today it's just, all come together, so super proud to be 
captain of these boys and we'll see what the future holds. To our fans, thank you for travelling up. The best fans in the state, so thank you. And thank you to our coaching staff as well, Tanya, for all the support and the hard work that she does. And Maddie, our physio, super work as usual. Yeah, thanks guys. I'd like to introduce the team now for the medals. Sure. Yeah. Oh, do I like to do it? Do you want me to do it? Oh, you can. Alright, Donnie. Yeah. Alright, Sam. So. He'll put it on you. Cheers. Braz. Oh, you're digging in, my heart. Jesus. Jakey. Lancaster. Wasn't sure which one. Bowman. Yeah, Bowman. Fiddy. Rizzi. Laka. Dusty. Toba. Nico. Wada. Denti. Danny. Jakey. Oh, Jakey. Tanya. But you're a bit shy if you don't want to get it. Congratulations to the South Hobart Football Club 2023 Grand Final Champion. Thanks again to uh, all the crowd that's turned up today. It's been a great crowd, seen some great football and uh, safe travel time tonight. Boss, boss, you got to get in these.
so happy that it's finally all come together. It's been a little bit, been a bit up and down of the season, and yeah, just super proud of the boys for coming together today and putting on a show at Devonport. What was the highlight of the game for you? Uh, I think the performance itself. It was a difficult one um, to come out on top against a quality Devonport side. It's always pleasing, especially up here at Devonport. So it's one that we haven't earmarked, but just a, a performance that 